Hello everyone, today we're talking about Lightroom, specifically a few hacks and shortcuts that will help you maximize your productivity in the software. Now why you need to know Lightroom or Photoshop or any editing software, it's because reaching the maximum potential on your of your photos, it's so closely dependent on many factors. It's the quality of your skills in photography and your knowledge about composition and subject picking and your artistic vision and the quality of the lens and the quality of your camera and the quality of your tripod for example and the quality of all your accessories and then comes the quality of your editing. So this is basically your knowledge about edging softwares. Now, these are not uh, tips about the actual tools of Lightroom, but these are hacks that will help you speed up your work or will help you improve your productivity if you want. So let's quickly get started because I don't want to, to make this uh, video longer than it's needed. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is the most important setting that you could use. Go into Edit, Catalog Settings, then go into Metadata and check that box that says write changes in the XMP file. This is this is very important. If you don't check this box, Lightroom will uh, take all the editing that you do and store it inside it. And if you reinstall Lightroom, then you may lose those uh, those things. But if you check this this box, you will have an additional text file that will store all your editing. So when you want to have the editing on another computer where you have the files, you don't need to do anything else but just take that, those XMP files and move them to another computer. Next tip or next hack or shortcut. It's, it's more of a shortcut, okay. So um, when you're using the brush in Lightroom, you don't see what the, that brush is affecting. So if you want to see the ma a mask that will show you um, where that brush will take effect, you just hit the shortcut O. Oh, <laughs> if you don't like the overlay color of the O, then you can hit Shift O and you can change the color. So this is this is really helpful. Many times you need to be more precise and you want to see what you're doing, but Lightroom doesn't by default shows you that. Another shortcut, when you're using the crop, it may be helpful to see different composition rules overlaid on uh, the crop. Uh, rectangle if you want okay so you can again hit O and again oh 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 <laughs> again all those rules of composition rule of thirds the all, all diagonals triangles whatever they are displaying there it may be helpful it may help you decide if the crop is uh, I don't know uh, useful to you another tip there are sliders in Lightroom that really don't make sense by default. For example, if you want to go to sharpen the image and if you drag the masking slider, nothing visibly happens. And this is, I don't understand this, but Lightroom, it is built as it is. So if you want to see what is happening when you drag the masking, you need to hold down Alt key. And then you will see how the masking shrinks and affects different areas. Now, you can do this with different sliders you can do this when setting the black point or the white point it will help you a lot see the overexposed areas or the underexposed areas so knowing uh, knowing this can help you hold down the alt key and see what happens with different sliders in lightroom hack number five or tip number five or suggestion number five if you want uh, after editing a photo it's much more easy to see the before and after on the same place quickly before, after, before and after. I don't want to see them before and after split it. I just want to see the effect taking place on that particular spot. So uh, there is a shortcut for this and in Lightroom is back slash. Hack number six. If you want to copy settings from one photo to another, but you don't want to copy all the settings, you can't use the synchronized because synchronized just synchronizes all. You may want to copy all the settings, but you don't want to copy, for example, the crop or the local adjustments like graduated filters or radi uh, radial filters or brushes because another photo has different areas where you want to place those, but the general settings you want just, you just want to move them. So how you can do this very simply, you go on the first photo, you hit Control Shift C, 
that's a copy you're basically doing a copy and paste when you hit Control shift c you will see a menu and you will click the boxes that, that you want to be the or the options that you want to copy and then Control shift v so it's it's the simple uh, copy and paste from uh, from any program but you need to also hold down shift it's simple as that and the final hack the final tip the final suggestion number seven is how do you do quick selections that will help you in the future um, and when I'm opening all my files and I'm looking through them I just use the star um, rating method. Why? Because I can, uh, the stars are from 1 to 5, you can hit the numbers on your keyboard to assign stars and uh, for example I, I, I make a selection of the photos that I'm going to edit and I assign them for example one star. At the end of this I go to library, on the top you see attributes and select one star and I have all the images. Now I can see only the images that I want to edit and it, this is this is extremely important when you're editing lots of images and you want to export them you don't want to go back in the library and select all those images you just want to click Control a to select all well you, in order to select all you need to have only those images displayed so you assign one star to the images that you want to edit you edit them and then you just go to library attribute click the one star and then you have all those images select all of them at once and explore them so these were my tips my hacks my suggestions for you hope you like them hope you find them useful if you're here for the first time please consider subscribing to this youtube channel for more videos like this and other videos related to landscape photography if you have questions if you want to say something about this video or uh, any other video on my channel just use the comment below but be polite <laughs> okay thanks for watching until next time keep on photographing because it's the only way that you can get better. Bye-bye.